Okay. Now maybe my audio issues are resolved. Maybe, I hope. Hopefully. Evening, everyone. I'm having an exciting time. My audio was messed up and I tried to stream and then lightning knocked my power out. I'm trying to stream again. All right, we're gonna try. We will send the official live tweet and see if I can actually stay live this time. Okay, let us Oh no The lightning messed everything up Let's See if I can get this working again Shabam Shabam, <laughs> I want a shabam Shabam. Shaboink. Why are we not working? Uh -huh. You're running here. You're connected there, I hope. Why aren't you working? Hmm. <sighs> too cheap for a stream deck so I've got touch portal it doesn't want to cooperate even though it was working flawlessly just five minutes ago ten minutes ago oh it's just not connecting to OBS services them socket server settings that's what I need If I don't need authentication, I can just come over here. Nope, I'll manage. I can go to Obus Save. Maybe I need to close Touch Portal and reopen it. I really hope nobody showed up for this. Me making a fool out of myself. Boo da boo. Yo, it's working. We got it. We did it. The chop box is in the way. Goodbye, chat box. All right, we good. We Gucci. I hope, I hope everyone can hear me. I hope I actually have audio. Let's do it. Evening, everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing wonderful. I'm having a ball so far. 
I think my auto is still jacked up. I seem awfully quiet. Maybe I'll give myself a little bit more. Little bit more. There we go. Somebody's gonna show up here in a minute and start yelling at me. This is too loud. All right, Cinema. Let's do this. We gotta go find Hella and kick her ass with our new sword. Shift. Um, I can't do any of the other cool stuff because I'm not in combat. Right. So. Chuk -chuk. Whoa, is it really? Whoa. Those are so creepy. I really hope it's not too dark for everyone. Maybe I should brighten it up a little. I don't know. Are you here to help me? You don't always help me. We, we're back. You only help me some of the time. We found her. We found you. We found Have you been? Here she is. Don't worry. I've been getting a sword and fighting my way through a river of dead bodies to be able you to keep said sword. Here to help you. You need us. Yo, get out of my head. Just us. 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 Damn Skyrim. Not up there? Over there. Yo. Y'all back off. What's up here? This is probably where I need to go. I feel like I'm going backwards. Oh, but I'm listening. Lock seems unnecessary. Into the mountain. What you got for me? I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafner, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature, a dragon. A dragon. I saw a dragon. Oh, I can't take the torch. Don't open the door. Stay back. Too late. What's it? A great beast guards Helheim. Gone is its name. And it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How would you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. Useless here. 
Torch. Don't be fooled. Ice is still here. No, it's a trick. Mother, do you hear that? Don't fall for it. It's me, Senua. It's so loud. It's not her. So full of hate. I just want to help them. Tell me what to do. Your father wants them to go away, and he only hurts me to silence them. So he's gone now. But he always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say I'm already dead. No, no they won't be with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't Do you them. see them? Do you see their faces? gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father. Zenbel. Oh no. I just didn't want to risk upsetting mm. But it doesn't matter now, does it? Negative Batman. Oh, no, 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 no. Step into the light. Thank you. <laughs> How's it going? Glad you could stop back by. Okay, let us light all of the things. Yes, all of the light. <laughs> there are more. Oh, I didn't see it. Where am I looking? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> this whole darkness mechanic is <clears throat> not scary um intense definitely keeps you on your toes where is this room that I'm missing 
guess I need to quit listening to the voices. Aha! The reflection. That is so cool. Probably lead back to the main area. Yeah. Okay. So can we keep going up? No. Okay. Doors there. We went that way. Let's try back here. Now you leave me alone, voices. Go. More light. Can't open it. It's locked on the other side. What's over here? Oh, the light won't save me now. Focus. Oh no! Okay, maybe we do want to focus. Bag it. Damn it. No, you don't. Maybe you do. Would you stop it? Wow. It was just a few hours. It's been a few hours. And I'm out of practice already. Bag up. Bag up. Oh no. Oh no. No. Deal with you. Oh, that was crap. Get out of here. Go on. <sighs> yes, give me back my torch. I had enough of your shenanigans. Up we go. Aha. She has it. She did it. She's done it. This place. It reminds her of the isolating, suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young girl. Imprisoned in her room at night. Faces in the dark coming through the walls. She wants 
think everyone could see them. Maybe not that way? That's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters in the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them. Her father. Ah, I can't open from this side either. Could see the monster in her. Okay, I'm pretty sure I went through both of those. Backtrack a little further. Taquito mas. Wait, maybe it's over here on this broken bridge. No? Maybe I've gone too far back. Did I go through these two? I'm pretty sure, yeah. This is what led me to where I was. <sighs> Guess I could like these. That would probably be smart. So where's my last one? This door, but I can't. How do I get to the other side of that door? Did I miss something downstairs? Is there two down there? Oh, I missed this. Rain the dwarfs, soul desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rain would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rain reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rain go in search of Fafnir. Interesting. These voices are so eerie. Alright, where's my last room? I know you're here somewhere.
Maybe it is all the way back here. Except I can't get back up the non-broken bridge. I don't think it's too big a drop. Yeah, no. Hmm. Here it wasn't down there. Is there another way to go over here? That up there, but no way up to it. Man, stuck on the wall. Can't go down there. Get off the wall, cinema. And something really simple. It's gotta be. <laughs> I have a feeling it has to do with this door, but I don't know how to get on the other side of said door. on this side. Just came out of there. That door's locked. Went into there. And this is where we started. Ah! Ha ha. No, 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 no. No torch going out. No torch going out. Here we go. Go back. Got it. Do you feel it? The beast is crawling into your mind, searching for weakness. It found your mother and used her to trap you from here. Did you see her die? I don't remember. I was only five. They told me she escaped the darkness. She's with the gods. It's a trap. The beast is coming. But what if they lied? Oh! Run! Run, woman! Run! Go! No! No! no. Oh no! You've lost it! It's over! The darkness! The darkness is back! You've lost it! You've lost it! Without his head, you will never bring your soul back. His fate is sealed. Now it can see you at your weakest. The time you suffered as a child at the hands of your father seemed no one you pined for Dillian. Do you remember the darkness, Senua? The beast is bringing it back. Mother. Why did 
you leave me? This darkness, it's spreading. Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. This poor woman. She's having a hell of a life. But now the question is, am I going to have to go all the way down there to head back? Ooh, more torch. Come on, voices. I think we'll be okay as long as the walls don't start healing. Oh no. Out of my face! Get out of here! Go on! Oh! Let me out of the corner! Okay. Gotcha. One more. And another. Behind me. All right. Jeez. I can deal with one at a time here. This room is too small for any more. Oh no! No! Back of the light! 
Jeez. Okay, let's go find the rune. No, don't stick the torch in the water. Where's my R? Guessing it's over there. Is it in the rocks? I just didn't see it. Do I have to make that meet up with something? I get up there on this side. Yeah. Light the fire. Spank your. Okay, now I gotta go back around. Okay, I get it. I get it, I get it. I see. Nah. There it is. You gotta find them all. more light. Oh no, more I don't wanna. Ready, set, go. Run, woman. Hustle. Yeah, I can definitely see the darkness giving anxiety. How are you doing this evening? I hope you're doing well. I'm trying not to get consumed. But each day, Fafnir crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafnir slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Nice. Sigurd leaps from the pit and Fafnir sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will leave. Awesome, I'm glad you're doing well. That's good to hear. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man will want to be wealthy until that day. Yeah, I started playing this one now. Um, last night I had, hadn't played through it before and uh, I was planning on playing Final Fantasy XIV but it was down for maintenance and so I figured I'd give this a go and I'm so pleased that I did. I'm really impressed with it. Probably should look the other way first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's go back. I'm going back. 
torch getting all flickery and whatnot. Oh yeah, there's a rune over here. This is really uh, reminiscent of, um, in a very odd way, Shadowgate back on the NES. <laughs> Whenever your torch would start to go out, the music would change and it would get very stressful like this. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Okay, so we've got the water there. tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. We can go this way where my torch was flickering. The darkness will kill you. The darkness took you. We'll mother. try this. You eventually really happened to her. Your mother was weak like you are. Her mother was weak like she is. So light it. What's she doing? She's lighting the fire. She's making light. She's making a fire. She's got light on the other side. Yeah, I think it's on the other side of that waterfall, and so I wanted to come check this direction first to see. If, um, I could get to it from this side, but it looks like I'm probably going to have to go through the waterfall and then run to that torch that I just lit. Or it's wishful thinking, one of the two. Let's go! Run! Light that torch. <laughs> oh yeah. Faster, faster, keep going, keep going. What is she doing? Stop, stop, that's it. Keep going, keep going. Over here. More light. Shadow. Okay, this we can just run through and relight it. And through the door. Oh. You can't help but think of him. Oh, it's getting darker. <laughs> Sigurd's new found power lets him hear the birds speak. And they say, Sigurd should eat the heart himself. Rian wants Fafner's gold. Oh no. <laughs> Sigurd should kill Rian before Rian kills him. I wanna. Sigurd should find Brynhild, the Valkyrie, who sleeps an enchanted sleep. Sigurd. Kills Rain, eats Fafnir's ah, not heart, this again. And takes Fafnir's treasure. And he embarks. No end. Leave me alone. To ride to Hinderfell and find Brynhild, the Valkyrie. Oh, keep that torch up above the water, please. Ah, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh no. I'm coming. You better hustle, girl. Oh no. I am 
leaving with him. Turn your back on me. That is why Dillion will rot in Oh boy. <laughs> nope. It's a negative. Maybe blocking's a bad idea here. Get him? Oh, that is so cool. It's like a... Warthog at a Parasite Eve. Oh no! Oh! Again. You can hear him, is he? Is he fine? Let's go. Come on, big boy. One more. Come on. No! Again. Oh, what is that? <laughs> He's cheap shotting me. Sword. Ah. There we go. I will beat him with my invisible sword. Did forget to load my sword over here. Oh, I hit you. That was supposed to stun you. Like that.
Come on, big boy. There's so much of this fight that you have to play off of audio. Oh, I don't know where he is. How did that hit me? This old boy don't play fair. Let's go, buddy. Maybe I have to dodge away from him when he does that attack. Okay. Yeah, 
I've got to dodge away there. That was a hell of a fight. That was cool. I can honestly say I've never done a boss fight like that. Oh! No! Cheap! That was cheap! No, 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 no. No, no. People think of evil as an unnatural, invisible force. And so invoke the guards for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the guards. A familiar hand. Cold and cruel. Alright, we're relatively okay. He tried to fix her with his rituals. Kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. But maybe Delian would still be alive. Save his soul. Even if this time she can't save her own. Wow. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this. It was my mission to make you hate. To hate the darkness with a passion so great it would focus your mind on this quest. For without it, I feel you love those who slap you. All this time, I've wanted to protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. But you have conquered your darkness at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. But take me to the mountains, trust me. As deep as we can go. I won't stand in your way. She has to trust him. You will not survive what is in there. Holy mackerel. I am a bit concerned my darkness is a little far up my arm there. And at the beginning, it told me if it made it to her head, I uh, had to start over. Yeah, that boss fight, that was, that was amazing. I've never seen anything like that. That was so cool. And yeah, when he would disappear back into the shadows... I could definitely hear where he was moving around me with the headphones. It was really, it wasn't overly clear, but you could tell by paying attention where he was spatially around me. It was really cool. Why did we black screen? Did my game just die? Oh no, there we go. It just got dark all of a sudden. That was weird. I thought it was loading. <laughs> Alright, where to from there? Ladder? Oh. 
Mother, I won't let the darkness trick me again. I know you're safe with the gods. I can feel Hela's gaze searching for secrets inside of me. Secrets that even I can't see. Ah, get off the rock. I'm not here to fight my past. I'm here for Dillion. Staircase number one and staircase number two. Whatever the cost. It's back here. Completely going the wrong way. Will fight each other to the death, and people will forget what they owe their kindred. Times will be hard. Crimes will be great. It will be an age of axes and swords. The wind will blow through abandoned halls. Wolves will walk where children played. The world will fall into ruin. Ah. Gotta come over here and fix a bridge. So it was a good thing I came this way. Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Ah. That is enough. up on me like that. Okay. This is a negative. This is not not how this is going to go down. Behind you. Behind you. I will abuse the parry iframes. Which way was I going? This way. <laughs> yeah, this way. Back downstairs.
This isn't just a broken bridge, is it? Okay, we've got to go this way. You showed me how to see further. Fix the other part of it. To see the hidden wonders in our world and explore new paths into the unknown. To lead so that others may follow or to warn so that they may avoid. Hmm. That is oh, our we gift can keep going up. and our duty. I'm not going to look away in fear anymore. Nah. -ha. She can do it. She can. She can see the secrets. The gods. But we've still got another broken chunk further down. Do I fix that over here? She has to see. She has to see. No. She can see the secrets. Maybe. I don't know. All the pieces are over there, like that's where I'm supposed to be looking from. Maybe I have to go out on the bridge and look up, and it'll fix something over here. Sounds like a theory. Dash. She's found a way. There's a way. She can see it. She must align herself. She can do it. That's the time. She aligns herself. It's there. Got it. Say the gods will fight their last battle at Ragnarok. Their watchmen will blow the horn that can be heard through the whole world. And Odin will speak with the severed head of Mimir, which gives him good counsel. The land of the giants will thunder with the sound of their army on the move. The gods will assemble. The dwarves will leave their stones. The frost giants will come from the east. The Midgard serpent will turn up the waves. Eagles will scream and tear at the corpses with their yellow beaks. The ship of the dead will set sail. So Ragnarok sounds like a fun time. Sounds like a party. What's in here? Negative. I shouldn't have blocked that. Come on, big boy, let's dance. Maybe I should just shut my mouth. <laughs> he knows how to dance. <laughs> Oh no, there's 
more. <laughs> Can I get the big one at least? Looks like it. That's enough with you spawning behind me. I've had enough of it. Better not be surrounding me again. Oh, got him. I really don't want to find out what happens when the darkness crawls all the way to her head. Because if it ends up being like a full on do not pass go start your game over, I'm going to be a little upset. Not that I'm not enjoying the game, but I do want to see how this ends. will face a ship full of their foes, which Loki has steered to Asgard. It carries the fire giants, the wolf that will eat the sun, and all kinds of dark creatures. Surt will join them with his sword of fire. The cliffs will crash, trolls will walk the land, men will tread the road to hell, and the heavens will split open. Okay, the bridge should be fully assembled now. There's not going to be any nasties on the bridge trying to knock me off the bridge. Maybe we can make it to Hello. Come on, send it with Yeah. It was wishful thinking. I can hope. Oh. Okay, there's none behind me. For now.
Oh, oh, because because we didn't have enough. <laughs> Behind me, quick. Nope, negative. Miss the timing on that. Get up, woman. There we go. Yes, there are too many of them. Thank you, whispers. Almost there. Just a few more. No! No more behind me! No! <laughs> just like an infinite spawn I mean this just keeps going
Holy mackerel. I have a feeling I'm getting towards the end of this because uh, they ain't mess around with the fights no more. They make you work for it. Because that was a lot of dudes. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Is it? The noble warrior But it's a brilliant idea. It really it's so unique. And so different. Clear dividing lights. No. Oh, this place is not quite like that. It's as if it knows that true torment lies within. So horrible. You see it, Samuel. You see the darkness, faces fear and suffering. You can see it. I remember it clearly. 
she has nothing to fear anymore. The gods have saved your mother. Through my hand. of the underworld. They crawl into your soul and rot you from the inside. Defy the gods like your mother and the darkness will come for you too. You understand, sir? Suffering brings salvation. It is the way of the gods. It was all a lie. You are a lie! She didn't defy the gods. She defied you. And so you killed her. You didn't pray to the gods. Prayed to your mother. Your mother, who was too weak to fight the darkness and abandon you. You tortured her. You killed her. You are the darkness. <laughs> Those rituals, the years of isolation, the pain that still haunts you. It was the only way to fight the curse within you. You're a liar. The darkness is inside you and it will destroy you. You're a liar! No, Silver. The darkness is here. You can't wish it away. And it will watch as you draw your last dying guts. I won't let you kill me.
darkness. You're a liar and a murderer. And if you really are Hela, then I have a sword here that can kill a god. Again with your lies. I know he's here. You took him from me. You have him. Dillion's gone. Dillion is dead. Let him go. I warn you. For what? What can he do to me that you haven't already? Fight me. You Come on. Your father. You betrayed the gods in search of Dillion, in search of love. Look where that's got you. Let go of the battle. Let go of redemption. Let you. go of Billion. Let 
Don't let your darkness hurt anyone else. wonder how long it's possible to hold out there. And if it's just an infinite loop, or if you can beat it. But that was cinematic AF. That was amazing.
and I can't sit. you want me to believe? After all you've done to me? To him? You're not a liar. But you're a liar! You crawled into me to confuse me and deceive me. And I know it. I know you have him. You'd rock the room. a life without loss is one without love. You turn your back on death and all you can see is the shadow that it casts. The longer you hide from it, the longer the shadow grows into it. All you can see is dark. When our time comes, 
You must be death in the eye. And embrace it. Never forget what it is like to see the world as a child suddenly. Every autumn leaf is like a work of art. Every rolling cloud a moving picture. Every day a new story. We too emerge from this magic, like a wave from the ocean, only to return to the sea. Waiting to be seen again. This is where my story once began. And so it has to end here. Because I cannot see further than this. Follow us. We have another story to tell. So, yeah, that was, that was awesome. Wow. Hmm.
That's a lot to think about still, though. It is definitely reminiscent of Layers of Fear. With all the... How they express the mental psychoses. Wow. Huh. <laughs> That was awesome. Part of your soul ties you to the next world, or maybe to the last. Hell of a story. This hmm. to us, the world is different. As we are to the world, I guess you would know that. Please don't go. A little shorter than I was expecting, but. Not that I think that detracts from it any. Because I think I'll only put about six hours into it or so. Yes, I agree completely. Because I only spent, you know, about six-ish hours in it, but there is, there is a lot there. It is very dense. Simply because, I mean, I felt kind of bad because I wasn't talking a lot for a lot of it, but there's a lot of parts, like, even in between with the voices talking that... I mean, it, it feels like once you start the game, it's just kind of non-stop. There's really no lulls in it. Because you're constantly having to uh, respond to either story or what the voices are telling you, whether it's true or not, with what you're seeing, with what you're hearing. There's definitely a lot to dig in. Because they really focused, I, they they worked on hitting all of the senses they could. I mean, visually, you're constantly having to watch stuff. Auditorily, you're constantly having to listen to what's going on around you. I mean, all the way to the, the Beast Boss fight, which is pretty much relying upon that. Being able to hear what's going on around you. All the while, that you they've got your mind working on what's really going on. Hmm. That was good. That was really good. Stormy seas and lost souls. Who is it? She's tramped to this before. It's coming. Is it? Is it? Is it? They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears. As seen by our inner eye. And what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake? And we only see what our inner eye creates for us. Yeah, definitely. Is that? Uh, 
the mixing of the two well, values. That's a, an idea I never would have come up with Maybe of mixing North and mental health. And especially in the way that they did. Because if you believe that and the things they addressed in it. You must accept that yours might be too. Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice is a video game about Senua, a Celtic warrior on a vision quest into Viking territory. But what sets our hero Senua apart is that she suffers from severe psychotic mental illness. The original idea for Hellblade was to create a classic hero's journey, a journey of suffering, but one where the fantasy world is not another planet or ultimate universe, but a world that is constructed in Senua's mind. But to do so would mean putting psychotic mental illness at the center of the experience, a subject that is still considered taboo, and a challenge that was both terrifying and exciting in equal measure. In Hellblade, the starting point was a newly discovered Celtic goddess called Senuna in Ashwell, Hertfordshire. When first discovered, her name was thought to be Senua, a name which I liked and kept. I wondered if Senua might have been a Celtic warrior like Boudicca, who stood up to the Romans. While the Romans had conquered all of Europe, there was a group of Celts up in the furthest reaches of the Roman Empire that could not be conquered, the Picts. And so the Romans built a wall, called Hadrian's Wall, that spans across Britain from sea to sea to keep the Pictish barbarians at bay. The Picts were known for their wall paint, painted on with woad, and their matted hair clumped with lime. And so Senua would be a barbarian Pict in this image. What's your name? Senua. Senua. I haven't seen you before. I don't know how much. Oh, Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait! Orkney is off the coast of Scotland and was inhabited by the Picts, steeped in history and mystery, and so I made Orkney Senua's home and set the stage for a crisis. In the late 8th century, the first Vikings landed on the Orkney Islands. The population of the Picts crashed thereafter, replaced by the Norsemen of the 9th century. Were they wiped out? We don't know for sure, but it would seem likely given the reputation of the Vikings. The Northmen's brutality is legendary. High-ranking leaders and chieftains of the tribes they conquered were often offered as sacrifice to their gods. The most brutal of these sacrifices was known as the Blood Eagle. I imagine Senua as a young female warrior who returns home from exile to find her partner, Dillian, brutally sacrificed to a Norse god by these hellish warriors from a faraway land. I imagine the horror of this moment and how it would have dragged her deep into mental torment. <laughs> yeah, for real. Vikings didn't mess around. I came to learn that the Celts had a sophisticated and nuanced perspective on the nature of mental disorder. One term they used was Gelt. A Gelt is a man or woman who has been driven mad by a curse, battle trauma or grief. The Gelt would take to a life in the woods in search of penance, punishment and purgation. And so Senua became a Gelt, cursed by darkness, looking for redemption in the wilds. Another word the Celts used in reference to mental disorders was truth, meaning fool, or Liar. one who utters the words of God. They tell of the mad sinner who flees battle into exile and takes on a beastly nature, growing feathers on his body. The character called Truth in Hellblade is based on a little-known person called Findan, an 8th century Irish Celt who was captured and enslaved by the Vikings, but eventually escaped to Orkney where he became a monk. I will tell you my stories of hell, if I may walk with you. Upon me 
meeting Senua, it would be his stories that fuel her quest deep into their world of gods. The Northmen say the world will come to an end. The sun will grow black, the earth will sink into the sea, the stars will disappear, fire and water will meet, flames will play against the sky, the heavens and the earth and all the world will be burned, all the gods will be dead, and the warriors of Valhalla and people everywhere. For it is nigh. So the stage was set for a new adventure, a journey into the Norse underworld called Hell, a vision quest fueled by madness and myth, a fantasy that was created by Senua's own mind, and one that we would experience through her eyes. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. To make a game about a warrior with psychotic mental illness as its central theme was fraught with danger. Mental illness such as psychosis is still taboo and rarely acknowledged in a century of cinema, never mind the new medium of games. Where it does feature, it often conflates psychosis and psychopathy associated with a lack of empathy. It is unfortunate that these two words sound so similar that they are used interchangeably in media. I must admit that I didn't have to look very far to discover my own ignorance of the subject. So we reached out to Paul Fletcher, psychiatrist and professor of health neuroscience at University of Cambridge. Psychosis is a descriptive term, and it refers to um, having a loss of contact with objective reality. So it's characterized by uh, two main sets of symptoms. One of them is hallucinations, where somebody experiences perceptions when there is no actual objective thing out there to perceive. Who are you? And the other is delusions, where somebody comes to very often bizarre, unpleasant, frightening beliefs when there's no good evidence in favour of them. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. We reached out to Welcome, a biomedical research charity that spends billions on research and awareness programmes aimed at improving health. Mental health hasn't always been presented in the media in a way that is particularly helpful. Um, it can be challenging to engage people with the subject matter and there are a lot of preconceived ideas about mental health and particularly schizophrenia and psychosis. So we hope our support allows the team to continue to collaborate with Paul Fletcher and with those who have experience of psychosis to create a game that provides a fresh perspective on the condition and allows audiences to engage with it in a way that just wouldn't be possible in any other medium. What started out as a brief consultation convinced me that we were only scratching the surface of an immensely deep and interesting subject that could enrich and change the very nature of the game. That's cool, thanks so much. Cool. Yeah. Pleasure, thanks. Uh, it's really interesting for me. I'd love to be involved. It's fascinating. Yeah. Our understanding of psychosis is still very much a mystery and ways of treating it are still primitive compared to physical illness. After all, it is easy to see the pain and suffering caused by physical diseases or physical trauma. It is not so easy to see the mental suffering and trauma of severe mental illness. But what if we could find a way to see it? Games are capable of drawing you in for hours on end, playing the role of a character who is different from you, experiencing their perspective, and actively involving you in a world that functions with a different set of rules. If we were to represent Senua psychosis, we would have to simulate voice hearing, a common attribute. But how can we simulate something we have no first-hand experience of? Professor Charles Fernyhoe, a leading expert in voice hearing from Durham University, offered his help. Hearing voices is an experience that is usually associated with severe mental illness. And crucially, we know that hearing voices is a part of ordinary life for many people who don't meet the criteria for mental illness. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's not him in real life. We know voices vary according to where they appear in space. Voices can appear far away in the distance, they can appear right there in your ear, they can seem to be coming from inside your head. Based on the information Professor Fernie Ho provided, I put together a sound brief and invited some actors to the studio. We recorded the actors using a binaural microphone, which records the 3D spatial position of sound, replicating the way sound is heard by human ears. It gives you an incredible sense that the person you are listening to is right there beside you.
Rachel Waddingham from The Voice Collective came to our studio with two young voice hearers to speak to our team. We talked at length about their experiences and they listened to our tests, giving us feedback on how we could improve on it. Everyone hates her. She's cursed. It's very hard to represent what this experience is like, partly because it's such a personal, intense, emotional experience. It's testament to how Ninja Theory have been listening to what the researchers are saying, but also, crucially, listening to the experts by experience. What they've come up with is so compelling. It's by far the best representation I've heard of what these experiences are like. Other common attributes of psychosis are visions and flashbacks. We met with Recovery College East, who work with and care for people recovering from severe mental disorders. A group of service users gave us their first-hand account of what they experience. Sometimes when the, the vision or the, what we're seeing is too much, it becomes more to it until eventually the fact don't see anything. The people we spoke to, the stories they told, were fascinating, harrowing and mind-boggling. The reality of what people experience was vivid, far exceeding what I could possibly have imagined. We went away itching to represent some of these visions and flashbacks in the game. As we all know, my heart is so, love is so far away. Don't you know how I want to feel deeper? I could never know how you grow all these days are killing me. Now I see deep in me insanity does unfold. I just want to feel, I just want to feel deeper, deeper. I just want to feel, I just want to feel deeper, To refine our work, we continued to hold meetings with Recovery College East over the course of a year and a half, showing them what we had achieved so far and refining the in-game representations based on their feedback. With their help, flashbacks, visions and changes in perception were woven into the story and gameplay of Senua. The students that are involved in this project are incredibly excited about being involved. They have described the experience as being important because it values their lived experience and shows that despite what we have been through, all of that experience becomes valid, that actually um, it's something that we should all be talking about. The experiences described range from beautiful to frightening beyond comprehension. I heard of a girl who has to live with an angry voice screaming at her, slamming on her doors and walls 24 hours a day. I met someone who would often see hanging corpses in the room, so real that she would sometimes try to rescue them. The panic and fear that comes with such visions is entirely understandable and it can be a living horror for some. Worthless, weak, pathetic, <laughs> go on, feel sorry for yourself because there is no one left to do that for you. I was urged by one fellow that we should not shy away from showing this horror and so I was perpetually torn in making Hellblade. Had we gone too far with our representations or not far enough? Broke and <laughs> In some ways, voice hearing and visions were the low-hanging fruit, so to speak. There's another aspect of psychosis that is much harder to explain, but one that I think video games are uniquely able to represent, which are often called delusions. People begin to see patterns in the world. They begin to link things that most people wouldn't link. Most of the things that we might think would be coincidence or 
you know, not worth commenting on. Nevertheless, that might have a particular salience or importance for them. One individual described how everyday words, sounds, colours and objects were steeped in meaning to him, forming a strange and sinister puzzle that he was determined to solve but could not quite get to the bottom of. It's not just brain dysfunction, it's not, it's not like the system shut down, it's actually an incredibly creative process. The person creates a world populated with voices and phantasms and terrors and they're completely immersed in it, they believe in it. We often invite people into the studio to play the game. In one of our playtests, they played through much of the game making associations between runes, secret messages and the threat of darkness that stalked them. There are many things that happen in the world of Hellblade that make perfect sense within the context of Senua's mind. The dark rot that's killing her slowly from within, the secret runes of the gods that block her path to Helheim, and strange associations that exist in the game to confuse you. To complete Senua's quest, you have to internalize and accept the logic and meaning behind these things to progress. Afterwards they said that they didn't see much evidence of mental illness in the game. People with delusions of all sorts would argue the same thing but they are not aware of their experience being abnormal in any way. I need this sort. It's important. Representing perception changes and thinking patterns within Hellblade gives us a set of symptoms common in psychosis. But people with lived experience were keen to emphasize another point, that it is wrong to define a person by their symptoms. Quite often, the illness comes not from the symptoms, but from the stigma, isolation and mistreatment that comes about from the rest of society. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? I needed someone to portray Senua, someone who could believably internalize her suffering. <laughs> Melina Jurgens, our video editor, had been a stand in for Senua over a few months while we perfected our motion capture techniques. Without realizing it, she had already auditioned for the role, and I knew her well enough to know that I didn't have to teach her to act, but to relive her own internal pain. As often is the case, those who have suffered mental anguish are never far from us. My hope is that by creating a compelling and aspirational character in Senua who feels very much real, albeit in a fantasy setting, we can provide a lens into her reality, a different one to yours, and this is where storytelling comes into play. I imagined her life based on common threads in real people's lives. She was always prone to psychosis as a child. Her mother Galena also heard voices and had visions, so perhaps there was a genetic aspect. Or perhaps it was cultural as she lived within a world without science, of gods and a superstition, as exemplified by her druid father Zimbal. Psychosis developed in her late teens to early twenties and was exasperated by stigma and isolation at the hands of the clansmen and her father. This darkness, it's spreading. The trauma of seeing her lover Dillian sacrifice tips her over the edge, making her remodel her reality around a concept that connects everything. The darkness. So the question, is what Senua experiences real? Can only be answered by saying, yes, it is real. It is her reality. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. Because perception is reality. Towards the end of the project, service users and professionals that had collaborated with us were invited to see the near final game. It was a chance to see if the game had reflected their views or if it had misrepresented them. For me, being involved in especially developing Senua's character has been really important and being able to bring in my perspective and, and what I see and what I hear and having that built into the game has been a real privilege. It's gritty and it's meaty and there are some tough subjects in there that are being tackled with honesty. I was blown away by it today, absolutely blown away. It was just fantastic to get the opportunity to use our lived experience in a very creative way. There's nothing tokenistic about the work we've put in, it feels like we've 
we've been listened to, um, things have been taken on board and I think there was a lot of realism in the, in the game itself and it feels very authentic. Hellblade will give people a good experience of what it's like to hear voices and, and have those experiences. I'm glad that um, the guys at Ninja Theory kind of asked us to come along and, and help help them build an experience that's positive when it comes out and get myself a copy and have a go. I think all the way through I was really inspired by how the conversations have translated into the game in a way that I think I didn't imagine was possible, so wonderful, really wonderful. I really hope that others will follow the lead they've set and use the power of something like a video game to change people's perceptions, to increase understanding and ultimately to make some of the stigma around voice hearing and other experiences go away. For me it was really exciting to see um, something that I explore scientifically being represented so beautifully in a character who's trying to penetrate the the mysteries of the environment in which they've been placed with all of this strange uncertainty and noise and, and conflicting information that they're getting. I'm very excited by this way of trying to represent mental illness because I, th I think it actually might be offering us insights that we wouldn't get from you know, pure scientific explorations and actually giving us quite an empathic view of what it might be like. Mental illness has been with us for as long as we have been on this planet, but why? Why has an evolution stamped out this weakness from within our gene pool? I often pondered this question until I realised that the question had an inbuilt flaw. It assumes that being and thinking differently is a weakness. The only reason we have computers, spacecraft, medicine, poetry, art and, yes, even video games is because individuals were able to simulate new abstract realities in their minds and share them with the rest of us. We need people to be willing to see differently in order for us to progress and survive as society. And we need to be open to these new ways of seeing. And it is this spirit that motivated me to create Send the Story and share it with you. I've got to applaud them, the amount of work they put into this. That is so cool. <clears throat> and that they were able to use essentially symptoms of mental illness as game mechanics. And do it in such a uh, immersive and relatable way. That's messed up. But I have to say it's pretty cool too. <laughs> because I'm not going to lie, there was a part of me that kind of wanted to start another game and then get killed. Just to see what happened. <laughs> That was good. That was really cool. I am very impressed with what they've done. Absolutely. I mean, I can't really even find 
I mean, I can't even find anything I don't like about the game. What they addressed, how they addressed it, the visuals, the gameplay, the mechanics. I mean, that was all I mean, triple A level stuff. That was really, really good. I mean, I can definitely see that it wouldn't. It wouldn't um, be everyone's cup of tea, depending on just how much a thought you want to put into the game that you're playing, or if you have issues tackling some of those subjects. But really, other than that, all of that was spot on. That was really high quality. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look into it some more and see just how big a splash it made because I mean I haven't heard any bad things about it but with how good that was I don't think it's gotten the recognition it deserves because I've heard nothing but good things but I haven't heard that much about it and that was uh, excellent absolutely excellent Hmm. Wow, that's a lot to think about still. Possibly how they push the marketing. And I, I understand some of what they they were getting at with, you know, it still being taboo. And some people just aren't aren't ready to deal with some of that, but they did such a good job of of masking most of it. I mean, if you took out the main piece that it was psychosis, you could easily pass that entire game off as uh, just another fantasy, and you know, it's demons talking to her, you know, uh, you know, servants of Hella. And, you know, the, the doorways that you look through are just magic. And, you know, you, there's a lot of easy hand-waving there. And they did such a good job of, ma of, of perfectly blending the psychosis with game mechanics. And so, really, the, the only thing I could see was maybe a, a failing in marketing. That's one that, yeah, yeah, I have to agree with. Um, I know of people that have issues talking about some of it. I personally, me and my family, I mean, we're pretty open folks. And so, um, I mean, in my immediate life, stuff like this really isn't taboo. And it really doesn't bother me in the slightest. But I could... Uh, I could see how some people, especially if they've dealt with it firsthand, or um, you know, have close relatives that have dealt with stuff like this, I could see how it could be um, not necessarily traumatic, but could could be disturbing. just blown away that was a, that was a damn good game I'm very impressed hmm well I've got a lot to think about I'm gonna end up having to play it again I think at some point there's just so much there, and I'm kind of curious to see if I missed any big things or not. Not the main story, but um, the uh, if I missed any of the 
story stones or anything. Hmm. Well, I do think that'll do it for me tonight, though. Alright, awesome. I was fixing to do the same, and yeah, I will, uh, I should be on tomorrow and probably Friday with 14. And I sure appreciate you, uh, coming and hanging out, everyone coming and hanging out. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and I'm definitely glad that, uh, 14 had maintenance yesterday so I could play this. This was absolutely excellent. So, uh, you have a good one, and we will see you next time.